Mohamed Kudus is going to be a great footballer. Inshallah. I they pray for Mohamed Kudus. Say, anything we go make like injury for Mohamed Kudus, we they cancel them with the blood of Jesus. Make God continuously they pro protect Mohamed Kudus for us because he's a star. Studios 2 TV. Warm greetings to you, my wonderful viewers. I hope see everybody there cool. Once again, welcome to Studios 2 TV. And as always, I'm your host, Grandmaster. This is VAR Uncovered. This is the program where they speak your mind. They speak what is there, your heart inside. This be where we they digest what is happening for the Ghanaian terrain, the Ghanaian players abroad, the Ghanaian players worldwide. This be the program where we they share all our sentiments and we they pour our heart out about what is the wrong the Ghanaian game. Make I not talk too much. Make I hook you up with my information. It will go on now. Penalty miss is a difficult decision to accept. Andre, Captain Dede, are you? What Dede are you? They talk. Dede are you say we had the opportunity to get to the next stage. I missed the penalty. It's difficult to take. We did not get it right, but I'm very optimistic for the future. So when I captain the DRU before the World Cup, as I won them way in no listen. It carried the revenge mindset, go the tournament inside. We always see the outcome. The DRU be one fantastic player way at the love and admire so much. But then I feel say on that very day, Coach Otoado had the status right wrong. On that very day, Coach Otoado had the status wrong. Because if you go tournament inside, and this was the last surviving member of that squad that lost against Luis Suarez's Uruguay, the day you shouldn't have kicked that penalty. We should have opted for a player like Thomas Tepate, a player like Mohamed Kudus, who was on fire at that tournament. So I don't know who to blame because right now, as it stands now, Coach Otto, I don't know they there to take the blame. He resigned from the job. I don't know who to blame, whether I make a blame. The day are you because after the tournament with the ESA, he lose in God's son before the whole match against Portugal even self begin. That be one of the first World Cup match. We come the ESA on that very match against Uruguay to then in that time they feel fine. So I don't know why I get mixed emotions and how I go attack this subject very well, make it come to the clarification of my fellow Ghanaians. You understand? If you go match inside, you go tournament inside. The Uruguayans then be one act enemies when it comes to football. This be people where on any given day, if it be Sunday boys, boys football self will be against Uruguay side self, it could be it could be bloody affair. You understand? So why the day are you go kick that penalty? If the day are you know say all this because all this information, if the day are you can't post them for an Instagram page where we they know. You understand? If you share all this information with us, say before the Portugal match, then this be what they go on. During the Uruguay match, this will be what they go through. So psychologically, self, then the player will be okay. Because me, I know recover. I still have my black star jersey. I still have my black star jersey. But what are they take do now? Because we leave the tournament inside group stages. There has to be an explanation and, and an accountability. You understand? Someone has to pay for the damage caused to Ghanaians during the Mundial. Someone has to own up and admit that technically we got it wrong. I feel say that we could have done better more than what we did. That's why I'm of the opinion that the whole technical team of Coach Otoado, where he lived behind, them all for go home. Nobody for stay. Because if you go tournament where you people have better ideas, where you don't feel share with Otoado, in the absence, I don't feel say you go feel do any better. So the day are you, I still they find ways to forgive you. But I feel say in the nearest future, you for stop the take penalties for Black Star. Even if you continue as the captain self, I feel say you for no kick any penalty again because we know how these things they turn out. These things go continuously, they harm you and they hurt you. So leave the penalties duty behind. In order for Ghanaians to forgive you, you for no go kick any penalty again. This is my next news. Ghanaian giant Kotoko and Haas to earn 340,000 euros from 2022 World Cup. Ghanaian giant Kotoko and Haas. So this is, is supposed to be split among them 170, 170 each. This be good news, but this be why it be sad news for me. If you take some team like the English national team, count the number of home-based players where they the English national team inside, you will understand why are they cry today. Take some club like some team like the the German national team, then watch how many German-based players they the national team inside. You will understand my sentiment. Go to other countries, take some team like the French national team, then watch how many French-based players they there. 
So why not us? Why do we want to learn everything uh, we feel is okay for us, but when it comes to learning the right things to apply them in Ghana, we fail. The only home-based players we take go to the tournament were able to rake us 340,000 euros. That be a free year ban here and that lad. So what happened, GFA? You have to explain to Ghanaians, if you had known about this incentive, you had known about this uh, 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 money issues that were going to uh, uh, be awarded to the various clubs. Why didn't you fight for the Ghanaian clubs? Because me and you know, say, most of the Ghanaian clubs are poor. Most of the Ghanaian clubs are suffering to get sponsorships on board. This be the reason why players like Fatal Mohamed, from the former captain of House of Folk, go talk, say, they leave hand to mouth, and the salary if they win, you know, if you buy a bicycle safe. Because if House of Folk gets two or three players at the World Cup, if, even if House of Folk gets two players, Kumasa Stantiko to get two players, imagine what 340,000 euros go do for these clubs. So the corporate uh, footballing bodies of the GFA, them fail we. Them fail we big time. Hearing the figures, some of these clubs, they get from the World Cup team, uh, players, the Ghanaian Football Federation has failed us. They need to explain more to us. Because you know they make sense. You know they make sense at all. This is my next news. God will even punish me if I advise a free year ban here to stay at House of Folk. That be one of former captain, Fatal Mohammed. I don't want to talk much. I won't make you listen to the video for yourself. You don't advise him to extend his contract for the club. Why? I will not I will I, not advise him to stay. 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 Then God will punish me. <laughs> Serious. But Afraid is my son. Wow. But to stay and play at to stay and play here. Eh. God will not even forgive you. God will not forgive me. Well lie. So this be what the former captain of Accra House of Folk they talk. Make a know from your side if they share the same sentiment. If what he talk it be right or wrong, go to the comment section, then share your information for there. But before you do that, make you not forget to click on the subscribe button. You click on the bell, then you turn on your notification because it's about to get hotter, hotter, and better. You understand? Fatal Mohammed, they speak in mind. This week, Fatal Mohammed, they in the trends. Some of the things he talk about, Accra House of Folk, you know, really, they make sense at all. It make the whole phobia family day on fire. You understand? He said, I couldn't even buy a bicycle with my House of Folk salary. Bicycle sale, Fatal Mohammed, who was supposedly to be earning 9600 he said, you know, if you buy bicycle safe, so I won't make her ask the boys for car price, say, how much bicycle they cost? Because Fatal Mohammed say, it they end 9,600, you know, if you buy bicycle safe. Has resigned to lose price asset Daniel, a free banner on free transfer. This is where I get problem with the Accra House of Folk Board. You they can't go World Cup. Before the World Cup, we they hear say, a free banner and contract, they expire. If I were House of Folk, what would I do? Sit down with the boy. Unless if the boy tell you how some folks something where you don't want to share with the Ghanaian public. Because we know say a free banner be the priced asset of Accra House of Folk. I've been an advocate. I've been a fighter for a free banner to be included in the 26 man squad. Not because I support House of Folk, but because I know say a free banner deserves to be there. A free banner be one fantastic player where it'd be better than most players where Coach Otuado called to the Black Star come safe. You understand? So I don't know why a free banner. House of folks sit down with them and decide, say, they won't go World Cup camp. After the boy go gain exposure from Qatar, then now that they come do contractor talks with them. That'd be wrong. Whoever did this mistake should lose his job at Accra House of Folk. Whoever sit down with a free banner and contract expert for House of Folk should lose his job. And they tell you for now. House of Folk for check, whoever sit down with, you know, renew a free banner and contract to make we go, the World Cup camp before he come offer him contract. If I lose his job, right, today, 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 today. Before the end of the week, House of Folk for expel the person. European clubs raking 4 million euros for Ghanaian players at 2022 World Cup. So this is what are they talk. House of Folk, they get 170. Kumasi Asante Kotoko, they get 170. Then the Ghanaian players, that be Mohamed Kudus, Daniel Amate, uh, uh, Kofi Chire, and all the other players we call from the European clubs, they, 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 they gain 4 million euros. Just ask yourself, if we had about five local-based players in the World Cup, you see my problem? If we are taking five local-based players to the World Cup, just imagine how much money the clubs would have been making by now. 
Just imagine how much money the clubs would have gotten to buy new players. The clubs would have gotten to, uh, uh, to build new infrastructures, to buy new team buses. You understand? The clubs would have gotten uh, to change their addresses, to change sponsorships. You know, they make sense at all. Whoever they in charge of the selection, because I know, say, the, the, the coaches for Black Stars, they're not there in charge of the selections. If they're there in charge of the selections, some of the exploits we see for the World Cup would have been different. I'm a very disappointed Ghanaian. I, I am a, a passionate supporter of the Black Star and the Ghanaian dream. But I tell you, what I see for Qatar 2022, it breaks my heart. It really, really, really lets me down. It really, 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 they make, and they get very pissed off. Because there's much to do when it comes to the grassroots football in Ghana here. So why are we not channeling our energy towards that? Make I go some exciting news though. Newcastle to battle Liverpool for Mohamed Kudus. Yes, Mohamed Starboy Kudus. And they tell you during the World Cup, say, as it stands now, I know be manager, I know be agent, but I can tell you for a fact. If I watch some prices, I have sell some players to some clubs for Europe. I'm going to tell you now, say, Mohamed Kudus, as it stands now, in price, go there somewhere around from 100, 100 million to 150 million euros. Yes, they deserve them. Because we see some of free players with Ayas sell self where they know they deserve that kind uh, uh, amount self. I ask you to sell them. When it comes to Starboy Kudus, I'm a very passionate supporter. I do hope say Mohamed Starboy Kudus go stay injury free. When we go see more fantastic performances from the boy, when we go with the press, say it will go far, far. That'll be the future Ghanaian national team captain. Yes, it'll be the future Ghanaian national team captain. It'll be boy where I feel say the Ghanaian youth and the Ghanaian faithful go feel idolized. Because right now, I tell you the other time, if you take a microphone where you go around, you ask the boys for the Ghanaian grassroots football and the Ghanaian academy, say, which players they won't play and grow up to be like, they'll go tell you, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar. You understand? They're not going to mention Ghanaian footballers than my name. But I am telling you for a fact, and I can hit my chest and tell you that in the next two, three years, if you go around and you ask around the same question, the Ghanaian football fans will tell you, say, they won't play ball like Mohamed Kudus because Mohamed Kudus is going to be a great footballer, inshallah. And they pray for Mohamed Kudus, say, anything we're going to make like injury for Mohamed Kudus, we they cancel him with the blood of Jesus. Make God continuously they protect Mohamed Kudus for us because he's a star. He's a quality material. He'll be one player where he go raise the flag of Ghana high. My goal against Portugal is the best moment of my life. Osman Bukhari, the player where he do the soul celebration. He said the goal against Portugal be the best goal of his life. Where with the whole say he could continue to achieve great things, making no limit himself to that Portugal match only. Any coach where he will come after Otuado, make he continue to use Otuado in template. This is the problem I have with the GFA. Because if Otuado the goal now, I can tell you for a fact, the coach he will come now, he will bring his own players. We know it, it, it happens several times. It happens several times. You understand? The coach he will come, he will tell you, say, he gets his own vision, he gets his own dream, he gets his own style of play. So some of Otuado and players don't feel much, uh, or they're not there in caliber of selection. He go drop plenty of players. With the hope say the GFA will make wise decisions. Because with the hear plenty of names where they won't pick up the Black Star job. I was stunned. Baba Rahman played ahead of Gideon Mensa against Uruguay, a GFA ESCO member. He said it's shocking. Because we all know, say, the first match Baba Raman starts, we lose against Portugal. You know, being fought where we lose, yes. Even though inside the league where these things happen, we know the blame him. Frank A. Champon, speaking in an interview, disclosed that he questioned the rationale behind why Baba Raman was selected ahead of Mensa. I was asked whether I was happy with what I saw, and I said I feel that, for instance, in our game against Portugal, the coach made some instant substitution after we, we equalized, which I think brought the momentum of the team down. And Portugal capitalized on that to beat us, he told Graphic Sports. Even in our last game against Uruguay, I didn't expect to see Baba Raman because I saw Gideon Mensah, who played in our second game and we won. So Ghanaians were expecting that he would start, he pointed out. So when I saw Baba Raman, I asked people close to the team and I was told that the coach said he wanted to attack and Baba Raman was the best left back when it comes to offensive play, he added. So you see why they tell you, say, Otuado self, he be polygamous coach. This is why I, mean, I tell you people say Otuado be polygamous coach. This is the coach where if they black star comes if they think about Borussia Dortmund. You go into match where you know say Baba Raman will be offensive coach, but in defensive qualities be very, very poor. You lose first match. Somebody for your technical team inside tell you, say, hey, my guy, 
Your selection against Portugal now will be wrong. Change and bring it your Mensa. You listen to one way you bring it your Mensa. You see the top notch quality with your Mensa display. The match against South Korea, we win 3-2. Then now in the third match, you decide to make Barbara Man come back to in position. Because even if we lose self, you have nothing to lose. Even if we lose self, you can still go back to Borussia Dortmund. So GFA, we they beg you, on behalf of my fellow Ghanaians, I they beg you all. If you want to select the next uh, Black Star coach, make you choose coach where you know get strings attached to any club. We want coach where they house, coach where excuse my language, it be jobless. Coach where you know they coach any team, coach where you know make any favor or promises to anybody. He just won't come coach the Ghanaian national team because he get love for the Black Star. He won't follow the Ghanaian dream and help Ghanaians uh, make them uh, the, then wake up from this uh, uh, nightmares the Black Star continuously they put we through. We, we, are, we are tired of the continuous elimination from group stages. Yes. And they tell you this with authority, say, we go, uh, 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 we see how this thing ends for AFCON. Comoros kick we out where we come out group stages. We do go World Cup, go do something better to see what is happening. On this note, if you like this content, click on the subscribe button, turn your notification button. And if you're not safe, Studio Studio TV, we do on every single platform. As always, I'm your host, Grandmaster. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck during this festive season. Stay blessed and I love you all.